The Elsevier Foundation has supported the Medical Library Association's Librarians Without Borders program since 2007. Here in Swaziland, Lenny Ryan from Librarians Without Borders, together with Michael Chimalizeni from Itoka, give a training workshop to lecturers, librarians, and doctors at the university. As a medical doctor, we need to always upgrade ourselves with the new uh, problems and uh, the new, modern, new, new type of management of the, our patients. So, and at the same time also, this will really help us in doing uh, researches in, in our discipline. This training teaches how to navigate all the online scientific resources available to university and health communities through programs such as Research for Life. This is an outreach mission to uh, publicize the, the Research for Life products initiatives that have been made between uh, the UN agencies and uh, private uh, publishers in a public and private, private sector partnership to bring uh, scientific knowledge to people who need it most in the least developing countries at a low cost to no cost at all. So this will help in reducing uh, the knowledge and scientific gap between uh, developing and uh, developed countries. Across the developing world, Librarians Without Borders has given 35 workshops, and together with the WHO and ITOCA, more than 100 trainings have already been carried out. I think it will help my accessing you know, reference materials and articles within a short period of time for my own benefit, and I think it will help students whom we teach. The reason why I'm here is I'm in the academic field anyway, and academic is all about accessing information and for my purpose, a research purpose and publications as well as teaching. That's why I'm here. Elzevia is a as a publishing company has, has been really involved since the, the, the formation of the Research for Life and its products. It's a founding publisher for, for most of these products like Inari and Agora and Oari. It donates its, its uh, uh, books and journals to, to those uh, gateways and databases. It also uh, funds training. For example, we've got uh, a guest trainer in uh, Lenny Rhine who has been funded by the Elsevier Foundation uh, to come here and work with us. So this is how in PubMed... Librarians will know how to serve the users to deliver the information and train the users better. So the goal is that with these resources, such as Hanari, that the individuals get the skills to do it on their own. We figure that for each person we train, it is 10 people upstream. And so that they will either in their jobs, they'll be responsible for training others, or they will talk with their colleagues or, or train their students. So we're hoping to see a much higher number of people being trained once this training is complete. The workshop has uh, actually enriched my knowledge in the area of uh, literature search on the internet. Mm -hmm. And uh, it has also given me the ideas of uh, various uh, databases that are available in my uh, area of specialization. And uh, with regards to what I have been able to learn and achieve within the last few days, I think I will pass the information and the knowledge to my students. When I go back using the training materials that, that were provided here for this training, I will be able to actually train both the staff that didn't make it here and also the students. The information has given me a very, very important uh, background for me to, 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 to develop it. Actually, yesterday uh, I was working throughout the night up to 2 o'clock just to revise what we have been learning and I found that it was really quite important. If new things come up, I think they should actually be follow-up workshops and also to assess the institutions where the training has been done to see whether there have been improvements in how Hinari, Agora, or are being used. Thank you everyone. Good day.